corporate social responsibility, which is what JSW Foundation also sort of represents in arts, culture, education. Is this something that you thought is your way of taking forward the family brand in a way? Because in, let's say, 30 years ago, very few people did real philanthropy. There were the Tatas and a few other groups. Now more and more corporates are getting into uh, uh, doing sort of genuine CSR work. I think uh, in all business families that corporate social responsibility is ingrained in all of us. I somehow when I shifted to Mumbai, I wanted to do something different because I was not allowed in the family business. So I always used to tell my girls, of course, part I knew will join the business. I used to ingrain him also in his, when he's five years old that you have to come and you have to join the business. He knew it. Are you saying women can't join the family business? No, no. When I was, in my uh, in, generation, in your, in women were not uh, allowed in the family business. Would you in change, my generation. Would you change that today? Yes. You know, if your, no, no. If, if your granddaughter wanted to join the family business and said, I want to... Uh, no, no. Know, so you, you I know. used to tell these girls that you must attempt joining the family business. Mm. And uh, after they came back, they realized, they, they try, they, she tried, she mm. went to the uh, JSW Energy Board and she said, I'm, I'm just not interested. It's not my passion. You know, in, in that sense, steel is not an easy business, right? Yeah. From the outside, it looks very easy. You've sort of diversified, built it into a multi-billion empire from what your father started with small buckets, I think, in, in Hisar. Yes. Uh, is, it, is it from the, was that your passion that you want to build this big steel empire? So, yeah, so... Um, uh, you know, I was when I was growing up in Hisar, my father was building this steel mill and uh, was ever expanding it, but in a very small way. At that time, India was very small, right? So, um, so I, I grew up watching him working very hard, and uh, but I really enjoyed it. You know, the industrial setup, and though it was small at that time, but I really enjoyed it, and that stayed in with me. And when I was doing my engineering, I really wanted to make it big in steel business. And when I wanted to set up my first steel plant, I went to my dad and I said that I want to set up the steel plant. He said, are you crazy? You know, steel plant is, is not a joke. You know, you will, you will uh, develop a blood pressure, you will have diabetes and you will lose your sleep, lose your appetite. I don't want you to do that. You must enjoy your life and we have now enough. Why do you want to do all that? So, so that day I got a little depressed and next day again morning I went to him. No, no dad, but I really, wa I really want and I've got this... Uh, a great idea and I want to do it. He said, okay, if you really want to do it and you are okay to live with all these uh, problems which I have uh, yesterday told you, then you go ahead, but, uh, but don't, don't expect anything great from me or your brothers. If you want to do, it, is, it will be your uh, own baby. You will, you will swim or drown with it. You know, don't think, if you fail, then you can come back to Hisar and I'll give you one, one room in the, in the house and one room in the office, you can spend your life there. Yeah, so he gave me carrot and stick, both. No, interesting, because you know, there is, a, 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 you find that a lot of uh, family businesses are caught between do we go and stick with the old economy or do we turn to the new economy businesses increasingly? You know, is that, is that a battle? Would you be as keen as he was with uh, his father to say, Dad, I want to expand the steel business or are you more inclined to say, I want to diversify into new areas where I'm more comfortable with? No, I think, I think it's a bit of both because if you look at the core strength of the family and the core strength of the group, it is steel. And there is such a large opportunity in India. So, and India is going to continue to need steel for so many more years and the amount of expansion, the amount of growth that's happening, steel is going to be very relevant. So, we are the leaders in it. So, why go away from that? However, at the same time, we have to continue to remain relevant. So we have to move into new businesses. So we got in now into the cement business, which is also an old economy business, but it's linked to the steel business. Paint is a completely new business that we've entered. And now we're starting a building materials online platform as well. So it's very important to remain relevant. So and I also personally really enjoy, uh, you know, these businesses. Whenever I go to the steel plant and I see what mom and dad have built, uh, it's truly inspirational to see that size, that scale. Otherwise, you know, just being on a computer and building online things, it's exciting. But, but to see a steel plant and, and to see a manufacturing setup like that is really exciting. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.